Hey, good morning everyone. This is Dennis from Pips Matter and I will be hosting this market analysis video. I'm going to go every, over everything you need to know before you start trading on this Friday and of course the non-farm payrolls. So today's possible market movers are the non-farm payrolls, the unemployment change from the US and later on possibly very small uh, the IVPMI from the U from Canada. <laughs> Okay, so let's let's move forward. Okay, so today is the only day that we can make money in the markets in. Today is the most important day. Today the US jobs report for October is due and it will be released an hour earlier than normal at 1.30 Central European time. Now we continue to receive many mixed signals about the labor market uh, from many different perspectives, but in terms of the US dollar, at the time of this video, we believe that we will have a strong result from the LFP indicating that we will have a strong USD, unless there is a surprise, but we will provide much more information in today's live trading chamber, the NFP event, it's going to happen later on in the day, and if you want to register for this event, it's totally free, and I'm going to be hosting it, I will be trading live, and if you want to register, simply either go on our Facebook, Twitter, or our website, which is pipsmanet.com and press trading chamber on the left side of the website. You will see a link there for the NFP event, click it, register, and I'll see you there. Now I'm going to go over the elections monitor very quickly. Risks continue to dominate the financial markets as the US elections approach. They're on Tuesday, uh, 8th of November. They're going to be really big, really important. Now Clinton lead in the poll has narrowed big time in the last few weeks. Now according to a poll aggregator called 535, the odds of a win for Clinton have fallen to 66.2% from yesterday 677 That's a big drop. Now if you remember the, the presidential debate that happened on the 19th of October, the odds for a Clinton win were estimated to be 87.3%, so that's a big 20% move. Very important stuff. Extremely so important that I mean we still believe Trump is gonna win, but we'll see. Now the negative sentiment for the US session last night continued into the Asian one, uh, where markets are trading lower this morning, and uh, and uh, the price of oil, it's very important, has declined again, and it's gonna decline again today. And it has been doing this for quite some time. We are now at around 40. 46.5 at the time of writing and we expect 44 to hit by Tuesday now okay as you can see we've already started buying the dollar slowly across the board um, across most of the pairs we could see a stronger dollar today indicating euro USD dropping down uh, and then election time we can see massive volatility um, in, into the, in, in the financial markets now, before I continue and, and go over anything else, I want to note, I want you to note this. Normally, the NFP uh, or the non farm payroll numbers would be dearlier and, and anticipated much more and would be a much more critical market mover, uh, which would obviously affect the, U, the US dollar across the board. However, with just five days to go before the US election, and the neck-to-neck -neck race between the two candidates, Hillary and Clinton, uh, Hillary and Trump, even the mother of all data releases, is under strong threat to take a less um, to take less of an effect. Now, nevertheless, following the FOMC statement on Wednesday, highlighting that the need to wait for some further evidence of continued progress toward its objectives, the jobs report will be very important for the Fed before it makes its mind up or any decision about a rate hike this December. Very important to know this. Simply, if you don't see much volatility today, it's only because of the elections, but if some big numbers come in, you're going to see big volatility. There's lots of money on the trigger and many people right now are very trigger happy and they're just waiting for something big to start, uh, to start selling or buying. So like we said, oil will continue heading lower. Uh, it's very, it, if you are trading oil, this is a very good way to trade it. I'm going to show you right now. Let me just find it. Here it is. Okay. So if you are trading oil, as you see these little lines, there is a 50% level usually all the time. And if I use these two here, you'll notice something similar happening. You see? 
if I connect the top of this and this, the 50% level is where we're at right now. Once this 50% level is broken, these are very strong indications that the price will head further down. Like we keep saying to everyone, our target is 44. Okay, 44 is our target before the elections. Maybe even a bit less, but 44 is definitely till where we are selling. We've been selling and made money, lots, lots of gains on these, uh, on oil, crude and Brent. And like I said, we do see it drop in further, and that's to this level here. Um, so very simple. We see it coming to 44 before the elections. If Trump wins, you will see oil tumble, tumble downwards. If Hillary wins, perhaps you'll see a retracement up. But uh, I'm still bearish. The trend is down, and I'm going to keep selling this. But 44 is the level. 44 is the level. Okay, everyone. Thank you for watching this video. See you in today's NFP report and talk to you over the weekend and next week. Stay safe and goodbye. You can get it if you really want. You can get it if you really